Hey guys, what's up? So on Artist Circle today, we are going to be doing a little redraw competition. I did a poll on my Instagram, artist.circle underscore. Uh, if you're following it, then you might have seen it. If not, that's okay. How it works was I had three different photos that I put on my story, all of them being old drawings of mine. And I had people vote on which one they wanted to be redrawn. First place winner goes on my YouTube with a full time lapse. And I have a guide here because I have a crappy memory. <laughs> the second place got a time lapse for the sketch only and not the coloring process. That would just be in a post or maybe in a second slide, you know. With that being said, let's go over the three drawings and then we'll discuss the winner. The first drawing was a moon goddess type lady. I didn't really know what I wanted out of this piece, but I just know that I was proud of it. <laughs> the second drawing was a mage. She didn't really have a lot of personality. The coloring on it was pretty good for what I was capable of at the time, but she just didn't, you know, have that flair. Does that make any sense? <laughs> The third drawing is a cat girl, and at this time I was kind of going through a phase of like, oh, all my OCs are cats, but it's okay. Like, if all your OCs are also cats, that's cool. I'm fine with that. You do you. Express yourself. I was. Um, now it's an elf demon succubus type stage. So that's cool. Those are the drawings. And the winner of the competition, of course, was the moon goddess. Because I guess people just wanted to see, like, the immense detail, but, like, better. I don't know. I Personally, I wanted to redo the mage. Maybe even the cat girl as, like, a close second. Just because of the fact that the cat girl, I had a really, like, shitty Android phone. And, like, okay, good enough lighting. And the elf mage just had no personality and the pose was so stiff. And I really wanted to, you know, I really wanted people to see that process. So, I mean, either way, you guys are going to see all three results. It's just the moon goddess is going up on this channel. And then if you want to see the other two drawings redone, just head on over to my Instagram. It'll probably be done by the time this goes up. I am trying to make more and more time and acknowledge the fact that I'm trying to make time for YouTube. It's really hard to get into the habit of waking up every day and then going straight to drawing, you know? Uh, right now it's like, what, seven, eight at night? So <laughs> I'm trying to do better. If you want to see or vote on any future polls, just make sure you head over to my Instagram or if I'm over a thousand subscribers, they'll probably be on the community tab, but that's probably not gonna happen for like another 10, 15 years. <laughs> All right. On to the video. Bye. This was actually extremely hard to record. There was a lot of technical issues and I kept getting interrupted uh, just by, you know, household related things. It took me a couple days to complete this. Uh, the, the sketch I got done, I think in one sitting, but the coloring process was just an off and on, like throughout the day type thing. So thank you so much for understanding, and I still hope you enjoy the final product even though the video might be a little bit janky. I'm still learning, I know it's not acceptable, but I'm trying. Thank you, bye bye.
like moon drops, I guess, coming down right here. Uh, there's some stars and comets, and it's like dripping onto her hand and like into the ocean. I have no idea what this is. I don't really know what my thought process was when I was like creating the original piece. I just know that <laughs> it exists. So I hope you guys really like this piece and uh, I know I could have done a bit better with the like color of the mountains here. It should have been more blue, I think, but I managed to get a darker green to kind of match the color of night. It's very vibrant. I kind of wanted to keep the colors all muted, but it came out way more vibrant and honestly, it's better than I thought it was gonna be. Let me just put it that way. Oh, by the way, quick note, Whenever I do color pencil like this, my paper tends to like curl, so I just put these pieces of masking tape around the edges so that way it doesn't like, so my wrist doesn't hit it and like crease the paper when I'm drawing. Let me just show you what actually happens here. So obviously when I'm on Instagram, I leave this on there uh, so the paper can sit flat in the light can hit everything the way it's supposed to. And if I don't have it, then I just, like if I don't have the tape, then I just color over it and stuff. But yeah, as you can see, like here, to see more frequent posts from me you can follow my instagram artist.circle underscore and vote on future polls just like this one and see the results of the other two drawings that we didn't cover today thank you guys it really means a lot that you sat through to the very end i know i'm not the best at making videos and i know i'm not the most consistent or most frequent uploader uh you guys probably watch people who upload videos every single day and like them a lot more and that's fine I just wish I could be that consistent. Um, actually, probably not. I feel like being that consistent takes up your entire like life, you know? I don't want this to take up my entire life. I just want it to be like a fun thing that I can do. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me talk about stupid shit and draw stupid shit. Leave things, bye. Oh, yeah.